this is one of our offices that's uh, due for strip out. Um, so we're looking to maximise reuse opportunities in this building. Stuff like the eye mongery, the push plate on this side and the pull handle on this side. This office here, we're looking at a few different items for reuse. Number one are the internal glazing petitions. We've got more iron mongery and items in here that we can send for reuse, both the locking mechanism and, and the plates that cover all of these items here. The issue we have is finding a home for these items and, and partnering up um, buyers and sellers at the same time. And that's where the Matterport comes in. So one of the first things we'll do with a project is we'll scan the entire building. We'll pick up the high quality items that we think are valuable for reuse opportunities. We'll then create QR codes for those items and place those on those items. Our tagging system involves QR codes that allow the client and potential reuse partnerships to assess the item, look at the dimensions and see if it's suitable for their next project. By using Matterport's digital twin, we're able to cut out the middleman, stopping site visits that can be costly and time consuming, as well as causing health and safety hazards. By using the scan, it enables us to identify on all visible products what are suitable and, and which are not, which saves us time and money. Hi Michael, how are you? Hi Dan, um, thank you for the scan. I can tell just just by looking at the screen, that the products on, on the glass doors are definitely of interest to us. Okay. We can get to site next week and uh, mobilise a team and start removing them. Fantastic. Okay, see you then. Thanks, mate. Cheers. Take care. Bye-bye. I'm so excited for what the future holds. With Matterport's Digital Twin, we're able to access reuse at a much faster rate, and the future can only hold much more exciting things for both John F. Hunt's reuse strategy and Matterport itself. <laughs>